Hello, this is Gray Hughes. Uh, you might notice my voice sounds a little different because I had food poisoning from two nights ago. So after I went to sleep, after my last live show, I had got food poisoning from something I had eaten earlier uh, in the day. I don't know what it was or anything, but man, uh, this is what happens with your voice if you have five Ralphing sessions, okay? <laughs> I know, two, TMI, TMI, all right? But uh, I'll try to come on later, but I feel normal again today. Yesterday, the whole day, I just felt like crap, but I feel much better today. My back's a little bit sore from the, the uh, again, the Ralphing sessions. Uh, let's see. I was going to put out a video right now, though, that I'd put out a long time ago, but I think it's appropriate to show the craziness at which people's minds sometimes are when they view cases. And I see that a lot, even in the, the Delphi case. I saw it a lot in the Kanika Jenkins case. And that's what I'm going to show you guys right now is a video that I made in the Kanika Jenkins case that is just absolutely insane what the person was saying, but they really believed it. And it wasn't just them. It was put out there on social media. But uh, it wasn't viewed very much at all because uh, YouTube sometimes puts a video in a certain algorithm. It never gets shared and nobody ever sees it, okay? So I thought I'd put it out again. I think it's important to see, and when you see it, you'll realize, wow. Because I have to deal with this kind of stuff every day and argue and debate with these types of people. But I guess that's part of the territory. But with, uh, without further ado, as my mom used to say, or I guess she still says it, but I haven't heard her say it, but she used to say it when I was a kid all the time. Uh, let's get started on the video right now. Okay, everybody, I got a comment on one of my YouTube videos that was so disturbing. It was a comment that combined all the theories that all of these YouTubers who've been selling a narrative of murder of the Kanika Jenkins case this entire time. All the craziness was all combined in sort of a hybrid chimera mind mess is that's all i'm gonna call it it was an absolute nightmare when i was reading that because i knew at that point that this is what we've gotten from all of these crazy conspiracy theories and these people actually believed so much of the garbage that was told to them and there and that garbage is still being spread to this day uh, there's people that are all excited about this new channel out there and it's insanity. I, I won't even bring it up because it's the same bogus crap that's been put out on the Kanika Jenkins case since the beginning. So what I did was I took their comment and I put it to audio and then I put in some video clips to show you what goes through my mind when I'm reading that. It's pure insanity. So let's get started on that right now. It wasn't alcohol or drugs that had her walking like that. It was people walking with her and holding her up and somebody edited the extra people out the video. She was dead before leaving the room. I know it sound crazy. It was the only way she could have left the room, what seems alive and on her own. The fact is she was killed in the room. Now why the hotel would help cover the murder up, I don't know. But she wasn't killed or died in no freezer. She was taken to that freezer. They have some kind of technology where they can take people out of footage. NASA use it all the time in underwater space walks. To hide the helpers that help the underwater astronaut divers. The end footage just be the astronaut divers. The helpers magically disappear. 
I've went over the footage. It's definitely been manipulated. It's been regularly edited number one, you can tell by the many time gaps. Also multiple glitches prove the footage has been tampered with. Then it's points in some of the footage where she looks like a totally different person slash also total dark shots of her, where you can't tell who it is. Proof that they got a look alike to act like her so they could fill in important missing parts of footage. Plus you can see multiple shadows at different times in the hallways, when she was the only person in the hallway at that time. More proof that other people was walking with her that whole time and was physically taking her to the freezer against her will. So next time you look at her walk, please understand she is being held up and her body manipulated by others to make it seem like she's walking and is alone. I don't know if it was their intention to make her seem drunk or high. It could just be that she looks like she is drunk or high from four or more people holding her up and making her body walk. It's not as far-fetched as you think. Whomever edited the footage to cover up this crime couldn't remove the shadows of the other people. Pay attention to everything. The shadows on the walls and floors. The way her legs seem to make unnatural movements even for a drunk person. Points where it seems she's being both pulled and pushed. Points where it seems someone is holding her on walls longer enough to get better grips on her. Once you guys start paying attention to these things, that walk will make so much sense to you and you will see she's not drunk or high. She's not even alive. So do you see how insane that is right there? But that brings in all the elements that everybody talks about all the time. Extra shadows, listen. Those are can lights that come down in the hallway. So yes, you get sort of a, a triangulation effect. When they're walking, the shadows shift and change. That's all you're seeing right there. Watch all the other days, like pick up the Video from the 8th and the 10th, there are no other people seen on any of the surveillance footage when Kanika's walking. She is the only person that shows up the entire time. Now, if you look at that last sentence in that audio file or the actual text document that was put, a comment on YouTube, it said, she's not even alive. So that whole time that we're seeing somebody that looks like Kanika, that's not, she's not even alive. Somebody's just carrying her and moving her arms around. And you know what? I've actually seen people say that many, many times, and people actually believe it. It's scary. These people are actually going to serve on a jury at some point in their life. Can you imagine having somebody who believes in this kind of stuff serving on a jury? They'll believe anything that a lawyer or a prosecutor says. It's incredible, all right? So I don't know what else I can do in this case, all right? I know people, you know, I've left and come back, made a couple videos here and there, but it just seems like this is sort of a jumping the shark moment. This is the moment where it's all just come to a head and you realize how absolutely whacked out this is. I mean, there's people now all excited about this new YouTuber. I won't even mention their name. And when I say new, I mean regarding the Kanika Jenkins case. And they're putting out the same garbage and trash that's been put out the whole time. Just another sort of angle on it. It's absolute garbage, okay? Now, Kanika Jenkins died accidentally in the freezer. That's the, that's the case. To me, it, it's a simple case. But if you want to make it a murder, then it becomes really complex because then you have to invent all these different things that can help you sell your story to the other people who want to believe that it's a murder okay it's just not all right now all the people that keep making these videos and videos should be ashamed of yourselves for creating someone just like the person i showed comment on youtube it's absolutely ridiculous okay 
So, I think I'm done. All right. So until next time, everybody, be safe out there. <laughs>